Hey there, mates and females, this is Dazzy Ron. We're back to Hacking Shack. Finally, after so long. A series where I cover a bunch of uh, basics in terms of tomorrow hacking and etc. So, in today's episode, we're going to be inserting custom blocks into your Super Mario ROM. So, first off, you're going to need the actual tool itself, which is known as Popcorn Stew. Or go for popcorn stew for that matter. Because Tomorrow World Central likes to name for tools as uh, puns of, you know, GPS and whatever. But this is the tool you use to insert custom blocks. And which I have already downloaded right over here. So this is what it looks like. And in today's uh, episode, we're going to um, insert the custom question blocks. Basically, insert any like objects or any enemies. Any, uh, stuff, let's just say. Uh, but we're just going to uh, insert the simple one today for uh, tutorial's sake. So, usually what I recommend you do is put all your tools inside separate folders. So, just call it block tool because it's easier to uh, notice, unlike popcorn stew, because no one's ever going to remember the name of popcorn stew, you're gonna remember it as block tool. And funny thing, there was a tool called block tool, but they removed it due to um, incompatibility. So we have this tool and it's great that it exists, but I kind of wish it had a more generic name, but whatever. So, and I, I also downloaded the, um, the custom question block blocks and we're just gonna be uh, using this one. Really, the other ones have some specific purposes, and you also have giant blocks, which uh, we're not going to go through in this tutorial. So yeah, this is basically what it looks like. You can change your sprite slots over here. We're gonna change it to 91, and then we're also going to change the the height placement of it, because otherwise, like enemies will go through the floor and or go through the block, and it might result in some unintended effects. There is a folder called blocks in the Gopher Pops Corn Stew uh, folder, even though I call it block tool. And we're just going to click and drag this right here. So you can add the, bl the block to whatever you like. I recommend just going where these um, exclamation marks are. And uh, if you want to insert like custom sprites, if you know how to do that already, you can change CLC to SEC for custom sprites instead. But yeah, uh, if it's uh, if the, if the item you want to spawn is carryable, you'd change state eight to state nine. So I'm gonna change this to ninety one. So I'm going to uh, spawn chucks from the question block if that makes any sense. And I'm also going to change this to EF because. If you read over here, where it says AD to FF for the top, it actually starts from FF and the highest is 80. Let's just save this. And you have a uh, text file called list, and this is where you um, put in the blocks. So let's just uh, go back to the blocks. And uh, usually you want to uh, you first want to um, type in where you want this custom block to be. So I want this at tile 300, which if you look at uh, Lunar Magic, it would be this spot over here. Page, uh, page three, if you look over here, page three, and it will be this block, which is tile 300. So that's where I'm gonna be inserting it. And then if you put a colon, and then type the block you wanted to act like initially. I'm going to change it into the cement block, which is 130. So, yeah, this one. So I'm going to change the block to 130, even though it is already. If I put tab, and then it will be... You can simply press rename, copy the name, control C. Then you control V to uh, paste the name of the block, and then you put dot .asm at the end. It'll go to tile 300, it'll act like one, uh, the cement block. Although it says for this block specifically, it can be 
Oh, it actually does recommend you should do 130. So basically you want to uh, follow what the act as settings is in uh, Smart World Central's blocks. And usually those are pretty complex. So that's why I'm starting out with this one because it's the simplest from the list of blocks you can download. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to open it and I'm going to open up the tool. It's going to say that it's going to have viruses, whatever. It doesn't. So run anyway. Then what you can do is drag your ROM from here to the tool itself. And then just press enter. There. Yeah, there it is. You can just say whatever you want. <laughs> whatever. You can just type in anything and just press enter again. So you have this thing called a DSC file, which is Basically, if you uh, reset your ROM, or if you like reinsert the ROM to like your editor, and then hover over here, it, you actually get this tile that says "Spawn Sprite None One." Now, uh, what I recommend you do afterwards is um, ch uh, change it into the tile that looks like you know a question mark block. Just so go use this. I'm in the um, 8x8 editing mode, so it won't do any copying of the actual act as setting. But yeah, I just insert it here. And yeah, let's just um, mix in a few blocks just to make things more interesting. So, uh, which one would that be again? Okay, yeah, it would be this one. So I'm just going to add a bunch of coin blocks. Then in the middle, or somewhere around the middle. That's not where I placed it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And then I'm just gonna sneak this guy in here. Spawn Sprite 91, which is the check. And then we can go ahead and test the ROM. Okay, so we're in the level that I am currently testing in, which is uh, 105, which is like the first Yoshi's Island level. And yeah. If you hit the block, you'll get a chuck, and he will spawn correctly in place. So, yeah, that is how you insert custom blocks into um, your Samar World ROM. So, yeah, happy hacking, everyone, and this is Dazzard Mods, and everybody, it's always a see you later.